Good morning. Saturday, July 10th, 2021. Baseball Players Hall of Fame Accomplishments. Career, batting, their stats. These are the episodes that I'm producing and going over. Today, I'm on episode, let's see, I believe it's number 16. Could be 17, let me see. I will let you know, yeah, episode 17. I decided to do Nap La July. Have you heard of him? Nap La July. Played from 1896, 1916, old school. 21 years. Why'd I pick him? This guy can hit. He comes in at 1896 as 20, 21 years old, plays for the Philadelphia Athletics. 39 games, 57 hits, that's 326. Not a home run hitter, only hit 82 in his career, but he did produce for RBIs, 1,599. Let's follow his career. So 39 games in his first season, 1897, plays 127 games, 197 hits in 127 games. If he plays 154 game season, he has well over 220 hits, 40 doubles, that's 361. So as a 22 year old, he knows how to hit. Also, what he does in his second season, he gets 127 RBIs, which is very good for a contact hitter. He is 6'1", 195. You would think he would have more power, but no, he focused on hitting. Third season, 1898, 23 years old. Plays entire season, misses about seven games, 641 at bats, 197 hits, 43 doubles, 127 RBIs, 324 batting average. 1899 season, 24 years old, 77 games, so he only plays half the season, could have been hurt. 118 hits, bats 378 but it's only half a season. 1900, turn of the century, 25 years old, playing for the Philadelphia Athletics. Let me see here. Pardon me, 18, I didn't know this. It was the Philadelphia Phillies, not the Athletics, because they're in the National League. So the first Five years, Philadelphia Phillies. So 1900, 102 games, 152 hits in 102 games. That's 337. Then in 1901, he gets traded to the Philadelphia Athletics. So that's where I got it. He was in the National League. And then now in 1901, he's in the American League. Plays uh, 131 games. Listen to this stat. 154 game season. Plays 131. So he misses 23 games. But he still manages 232 hits. In 582 at bats. 232. If he plays those 23 games, maybe add a hit a game, right? He's at 258 hits, but he missed those games. He had 48 doubles, 125 RBIs. Listen to this. 
He bats 426. That's an American League record. <clears throat> he had the enough plate appearances to qualify. 582. So it's no fluke. 232 hits. This is his best year. 1901. Playing for the Philadelphia Athletics. He bats 426. Of course, what's the record? Hugh Duffy. 438 batting average. It's the highest ever recorded. And Duffy had enough plate appearances to qualify. He had over 500 at bats. So how about that? 1902. What does Nap Lajoie do? Plays 88 games, so just over half a season. Bats 378. So I don't know what happened there. Maybe he got hurt. 1903 season, he's 28 years old, 125 games. Again, he's missing about 30 games, but still gets 500 at bats. 167 hits, bats 344. 1904 season, 29 years old, 140 games. So he misses 14 games, 595 at, bat, at bats, 208 hits. So this is the second time he's gone over 200 hits. Gets 102 RBIs, bats 376. Quality hitter. 1905. 65 games. Must have been hurt. Half a season. 82 hits. That's 329. 1906. Finally plays every day. 152 games. Misses two games. 656 hits. And what does he do? 214 hits. I meant 656 plate appearances. And then 214 hits. 48 doubles. That's 355. 1907 season. 137 games, 558 at bats, 153 hits, 301. A little down from his 355 the previous year. 1908, he's 33 years old, 157 games, 667 at bats, but only 168 hits. He's a little down, bats 289. He was a 300 hitter. In fact, he had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He had 13 seasons in a row over 300. But for some reason, in the 1908 season, he plays every game. He batted 289. Again, injury could be a factor. 1909, 34 years old, 128 games, 152 hits, 324 batting average. Whew. 1910, listen to this, 159 games. I thought they only played 154. So apparently, tiebreakers, 679 at bats, 228. Seven hits. 383 batting average. 51 doubles. Nap Lajoy. What a season that one was. That's his second best season because in 1901 he batted 426 in 130 games. 1911. 36 years old. 90 games, 115 hits, 365 average. 1912, 117 games, 165 hits, 368 average. 1913, 137 games, 156 hits, 335 average. 1914, 39 years old, 120 games, 108 hits, 258 came down. 1915, 40 years old, 129 games, 137 hits, 280. As last year, 1916, 41 years old, 113 games, 105 hits, 246. How many 300 seasons did he have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 seasons out of 21 years, he bats over 300. He has a high of 426. He bats 383. He bats 378, 365, 368. Quality player, you have to say, right? 2,400 games, 10,000 at bats, 3,243 hits, 657 doubles, 163 triples, only 82 homers, but 1,599 RBI and a lifetime batting average of 338. 4,000 total bases. Nap Lajoie, one of the quality hitters of the old turn of the century, old school players. Would you want him on your team? He had a high of 232 hits. How many 200 hit seasons? One, two, three, four of them. And then he had two seasons of 197 hits. So that could have been six seasons. Not bad. Okay, let's uh, go. Up. I'm going to tease again. What's my next episode? Who, who am I going to choose next? Have you heard of a guy named Mickey Mantle of the New York Yankees? He's next. Thanks for watching. I'm out.